Alright. So, people, I'm gonna show you. Log into my machine. Let's go full screen. And get a little big. Uh, if you remember, if you remember how we uh, had problems with our, and how I said I had problems with setting up my Ethernet, okay, um, and how we skipped, well, uh, how I skipped um, setting this up, we made the folder, or we made the file, but I didn't put any anything that meant anything into it. Okay, and in order, for, I had some problems setting up my Ethernet. Now, 98% of it was hardware, but uh, this is the file here you need to edit. All right, all right you need to come to Etsy UDev. All right, it's all in the book. It's all in the book. UDev, and uh, we'll go into Etsy rules. And we'll edit our 26 network rules. Take a look at that. Alright. Um, I think in the tutorial I left that, uh, might have been blank or I don't know what it was, but it wasn't that. Oh, no. I think I set it up as like, uh, was it real tech? I don't know what it was. Maybe Intel? I don't know. But, uh, this is your Ether 1 name. Okay. And, um,. That's the MAC address. Okay, you'll see this in there. If you have problems setting up your stuff, well, this this uh, would be one thing to eliminate before moving on to the next issue. Okay, because I could not connect. Okay, and one of the reasons why I could not connect was because they said to um, remember about the escape character. Okay. They said to remember that, and they were right. All right, because I had an escape character in my string when I um, when I put this down, I ended up with an escape character in there, and it it does it doesn't work. Okay, so I fixed it. Back on the road, looking good. Okay, exit this out and show you this. This is the BLFS book, okay? I converted it to um, text, okay? But this is the BLFS book through my Vi editor. Remember how I said I hate Vi? I don't hate Vi. I love Vi. I know how to use Vi now because I've been using it for the last uh, three weeks. And it's been my only editor. And I did download Emacs to use Emacs, but it's so massive, it took like 22, it says it took 22 SPUs, but the thing took all day long, and I don't know why. I followed the instructions to the T, and eh, it works, though. It's just big and massive, so I don't know what's up with that, but I haven't used that yet, but I heard Emacs is okay. So, um, this is wget, how to install wget, I think, is it? No, installation of XORG utils. Okay. This is your BLFS book. Um, it's kind of like an aftermarket. No, no, it's not. Yeah, it is an aftermarket. Um, go get it. Go look at it. It shows you how to do stuff. Okay. And maybe I'll install a couple packages. I don't know. Uh, uh, maybe I won't install a couple packages, but I'll show you the, the rundown. Um, Oh, what flew by? Pango. What's a Pango? I don't know. Uh, VimRC. But basically, you know, you go and you get your packages. Like I said, uh, go to BLFS. Um, they have a whole bunch of links to where to get your packages from. You get them, you download them, you W get them. And, man, this is taking forever. Oh, there it is. There it is, I think. You get them, you download them, and um, just extract them. You know, we'll just all this GDM. Uh, if you want to install your GDM, you know, Display Manager, that's what you do. Remember that syntax, it's like from the book. You know, kind of shows you all your goodies, all what you need to know. And 
and um, it's 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 uh, I don't want to say it's not right because maybe I'm not doing something right, but uh, I I looked for links with an I in here and I didn't find no it redirected me it redirected me to links with a Y and I don't like what links with a Y because it's uh it, it it's not what I wanted so you know I just went through and I, I configured links with a Y uh, just uh, pretty much how how they had it okay and it came out right no no mouse support you know just extract your package and you know you configure and prefix and all that stuff just how we did in the book just how we did in the book just how it's written here you know what I mean follow it and if you come out with good results good if you don't then uh, play around until you get good results you know so but that's BLFS whoa what is going on oh insert uh oh find that error at page and whatever <laughs> it's BLFS um, and wget and all that stuff like that like I said I put it on uh, we'll go to a dummy package right now by the way if you remember to we were left with a tools directory and a sources directory and I think I told you already maybe I didn't um, if you read along in the book too it says you can delete the tools directory and the sources directory if you want to get some space all right I um I got space. I got space. I got a little divide that in half. I'm like what under 500 megs. I got a I got a backup thing going on over here. So, but that's you can delete those tools. I right? that tool chain that we built. We don't need them unless you want to save them for uh to rebuild something. Read the book. It shows you. It tells you. Alright, I'm not going to install this, but I'll show you what's going on um, when you do go and extract a package. Let me see, we're uh, PCI Utils. Let's say Tor, XVF, PCI Utils. And, um, same convention. Extract a package, okay? And you go into the extracted package, okay? And it's here. And uh, there's two files. There's usually a README and an install. And I'm gonna cut out the README, but usually the install is the one that's got the good stuff on it. All right. The, the README, the README is more like uh, licensing and everything else like that. The install actually gives you the directions. So did I pick the wrong folder? Sure enough, did. Okay. Um, you get your make file here. You know, um, configure. Man, I really picked the wrong daggone package to go into, huh? Right, let me remove. After you make it, you can also remove your PC or your your extracted folder. All right, just like in the book, just like just like how we built it. It's just the same stuff over again. Um, NASM. No, that's not installable. Okay, tar. W three M I read is a web browser, so it's another graphical web browser. So I got it to mess around with it and see what it's all about. Cat, where's the install? Is there an install? Is there? Minion. Can I cat out the readme? <laughs> Somebody give me some options to switches. Nope. Fail number two. Pine's a editor, like a, uh, what do you call it, um, like a Pi, Emacs, you could get Nano, you can get, you know, if you had a GDM, you could you know, get your G-Edit on here, but, um, you can get all the good stuff. Man, how come there's no install files? Dear God. Read me. Right. 
no install files. Are you kidding me? Or no install document. Or you know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. Not all the stuff. All right, I'm not gonna look through that. Okay, a little, a little antsy now. Um, when you get get your package and whatnot like that, and you extract it, re remove it, keep it keep it clean in there. If you have sources clean, um, you know you won't run into problems. I mean, save sources. Can we say save sources? Sys Linux. Eh, eh, maybe. Okay. Okay. Uh, CD in a Sys Linux. I don't think Sys Linux has it. Does it? Please tell me. I don't remember. No. No. All right. Well, anyway, when you get when you get packages, they usually have a big file in there, and it'll say install. All right. You cut out that install file, and it'll show you. Um, you know, it'll give you your options on what you can. Uh, what your switches are to use and whatnot like that. If you don't find anything in the BLFS book, okay. And um, man, wireless tools, maybe. I don't know. If you don't find anything in the BLFS book, that's where you can go. To where is the readme? Info. <laughs> Install somebody. There he is! Hot dog! I've probably had someone on the last one too, I'm just too tired to see. Cat install. Here's your install file. Alright. Shows you your options and um you know, the installed file tells you what what's what, what you need, make clean, build static, all that good stuff. You gotta do some reading. And it's all here. Alright. And the good thing about that is Ooh, look at that. I would priv, I would list. This is uh good for wireless look at wireless drivers here. Awesome. Good for my laptop when I get it running. Right. Good stuff. But um and list. Remove wireless tools. You um you're not limited either. Alright, you're not limited. Check it out, you can go to um, Slackware, like like I said, this cat Slackware. Slackware 10.2. Uh, let's make it colorful. Links and links with an eye can also double as a... Kind of like a... What do you call it? Not an editor, but you can read files through it. Alright. Um, Slackware... You, you're not limited anymore to uh, dev files. All you gotta do is get something to extract the dev files. All right. So if you got say um, an SSH uh, for uh, Debian or whatever, and you want to extract it, well, get a dev extractor. They got stuff on that too in here. You know, get a dev extractor and uh, just extract it, configure it. Boom, you're done. Arch Linux. Boom, you're done. Uh, you know, wherever you get repos at. Wherever you get your repositories at, I mean, whatever you get, you can just, uh, 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 what is it, Red Hat, uh, or Ripple, you know what I mean, uh, RPM, extract, get an RPM extractor, do I have an RPM, no, do I have a deb, no, um, just get an RPM extractor, extract it, and just configure that package to your machine, alright, you can even go ahead and go into Gen 2, <laughs> and look at some of their stuff, and you know, actually, I you're not gonna have too much luck at Gento because <clears throat> it's all portage and well, no, 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 um, it's all uh, what do you call it? Um, it's snapshots and everything else like that, and portage. Well, you, you can extract portage, but it, that's uh, you're not gonna have the best luck. Okay. So, you're not going to have the best luck with Gen 2. But anywhere else, like I said, go to um, Open Source OSU, Open Source Labs.
Oregon State Open Source Labs. Go there. Ton of stuff. But go to BLFS first, alright? But, like I said, some of your packages you're not gonna find. But they're out there if you look for them. I saw the SSH uh, from Argentina. Alright? That's where I found it. So, it's out there. Alright? I'm gonna stop this. And, um, hopefully you're having fun like me. And maybe I'll put up another toot and see what's going on. Alright? Uh, don't go anywhere. Don't leave. Don't go. Let me show you this. This here. Um, this is my hard drive, right? Right. Mounted on uh, HDA3. We installed over here on HDA1. I made a clone or a backup. Alright. These two here, you don't have to mine them. Uh, what did I do with them? This one is uh, another backup of something. I forget. Alright. Um, because <clears throat> it took so long to build this thing, you don't want to lose it. And if you can't CPI, and if anybody can CPIO, and, uh, and make a backup of your, your, uh, your OS right now as a live CD, post it or something because I need to find out how to do that, and I really want to do that. Alright? But, if you can't, you can DDF. Alright? DDF your device. This, say if, if the one I'm using is HDA 3. No, I am using 3, but say if it was HDA 1. DDF your hard drive. Alright, input file dev HDA1, your output file to where you're going to output it. Makes a clone, exact replica. Alright, HDA, let's say 3. That's what I did. Okay, and um, DD is great. DD is golden. It takes a little bit. It's a heck of a draw on your system, but it's bite for bite. You, <laughs> you can't mess with DD. Alright, DD. DD is golden. Alright, it's no no other backup tool out there, you know, that's going to do this the way that DD does it. Alright, it's golden. All the way. So back up your, back up your system. You know, because you'd hate to go install packages and all of a sudden, uh, you know, boom, you just lost the install and, you know, you don't have anything. Just back up your system. That's what I did. Alright, because it took a while to do that. Alright. So... But like I said, this is a uh, this is our hard drive. This is our swap. We don't need a backup swap. Just tie swap in. You know what I'm saying? Just tie swap in. Swap should already be tied in anyway because your M tab's the same. Everything is the same. Etsy's the same. Everything's the same. F stab's the same. All right. So when you DDF over, actually when you do the DD over, if you're backing up, um, you're gonna have to actually change your M your F stab. Okay, Etsy. F stab. You're gonna have to change your file system tab too. Alright? When you DD, if you DD over your hard drive. Okay? If you basically back it up to another hard drive. If you're backing up, um, if you're backing up HDA1, um, when you boot into HDA1, it's gonna say, uh, when you boot into your new hard drive, which is actually HDA3, it's still gonna say HDA1. Alright, so you're going to have to um, edit your Etsy F stab. Okay. Um, and your boot. Let's go into CD. CD up into boot. Um, grub. Cat. If you see here, I got an old mini dot list. Yeah. Um, that's backed up too. <laughs> I, ain't, I ain't wasting. Uh, cat menu dot list. More. Let's get some color. Let's get some color. We'll say Vi menu dot list. Okay. I put a little note in here for myself. All right, because I'm on HDA three. If you look here, say LFS boost from HDA one grid menu dot list. All right. So I don't know when you when you DD. The way that that grub works is I think it it 
it writes to the first under 400 megabytes of the the, the hard drive all right or the first partition I'm not sure I think it's the first partition okay but it, it writes stages it, it writes it writes boot code to the first um, 400 megabytes or so you could go in and DDF um, fill the first 400 with zeros and that'll get rid of this bootloader but you don't want to do that just put pointers put tags in all right like me okay um, I uh like I said I put this in here so I would know what's going on all right now if I want to add anything to my menu dot list this is only uh, um, it's not gonna work here because I'm on HDA3 but it'll work here all right if you go in there because I have a grub menu dot list over there too that's that's my hard backup all right it has nothing nothing else on it but exactly um, the build that was it all right so um, and that's where I have to go to put any changes to actually into the bootloader boot menu okay but that's what you do and that's good stuff and um, that's what it is alright so hopefully you're having a lot of fun like me if you're not uh, you know, keep at it you'll get it and uh, maybe I'll report back with something new alright but it's fun have a good one after I kill my process Nineteen fourteen nine eighty six. Peace out.